think we may have just found something else. Oh, hello. A little bit of lag there. Nothing. Oh, it's not so powerful down here. Doesn't scare off the the vines like it did upstairs. Oh, hello. Coloring's interesting down here. It's all yellow. We got like lizard tombs. That's odd. As if there's anything that isn't odd. The way I said that was kind of silly. What was going on there? Hello? Don't disturb me, please. I'm busy. There we go. There's a lot of these. Jesus. I don't like this. Stop it. Stop with the noises. Enough. What? It, would you knock it off? God. Is, is, are those my footsteps that are making those noises? They sound kind of like skittery, so it's very strange. A beautifully ornate metallic mask with a reptilian face carved on it. It does not indicate anything about the purpose it served in its day. I don't know either. I, a regular human, cannot discern what that purpose might have been as well. Nah, uh, screw this. Yeah. I'm not gonna mess around with that. No thanks. I'm fine. Oh. Whoa. A lot of stuff going on here that I did not realize. More stairs over there. There's like little tiny reptile guys. Hello there. How are you? How you doing? of the strange flora is blocking the way here. Can I equip this? No, I cannot. Uh, oh. We got something new here. Uh, yes. It is depicted here. Our gateway out of this world. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Cornarium. The thing I have been searching for my whole life. As much as I can understand, that one depicts a seemingly dead city as an ever-living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Incredible. Uh, 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 and the other one depicts an ancient cornarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet or maybe out of this dimension. 
my. This is just marvelous. That's not exactly the word I'd use for this. But I mean, to each his own, I suppose. Journal has been updated. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, nope. That was already on it. Uh, Dr. Faust remarks about the ancient canarium. Okay, so it's just the... Just the, uh, the quotes. So I guess I want to do the same thing I did before. I think I wanted to go the other direction. Yeah, out there. Uh, not quite. No. No, that was wrong. Globe. Alright, fuck it. Let's, yeah, just all the way around then. That's fine. Yay, more light. I always welcome such. Alright, so what does that do exactly? I don't really even know what this does. Like, I mean, it, it attracts energy, I guess. But, like, for a very short period of time, like, it, so it brings that in. Oh, so now it's good to go? Oh, so it just needed to, like, charge. It's like a battery. Huh, okay. So, what do I want to do now? Uh oh. So what am I hoping to do now? Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh, do I leave? Do I leave? Ooh, run. Can I run? I don't like that. Oh, okay. Uh, things are chasing me. Not a fan. Oh shit! Fuck. E e e. No 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 no. Ah damn it. They cornered me. That was a flank. Let's see. Maybe run down here. Man, that, I don't know. Maybe run down here and then run through that? Because if I go too far, then I get flanked. So I don't think I want to go this far down. Maybe I'll go that way that I just went, and then go all the way around over here. And, like, circle it. Oh! Think this is what I want to do? It seems like it. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, so that was supposed to happen. Must be the products of my disordered imagination. Nothing more. 
Yeah, keep telling yourself that. That's all it is. Just imagination. That's what you need to be able to get out of this sane. I would probably do the same. I am very, I'm very confused now. Ah, okay, that's what it is. Yeah, so I charged that up. Okay, I remember now. So, yeah, there we go. Charge that up, and then go through here. Yeah. Hello, elder thing. I mean, just look at this, though. Like, look at this biology. It's so weird, like, to think that this is an advanced race of creatures that are infinitely more intelligent in every way. Oh, hello. Thank you. I bet that was supposed to be really difficult. That was supposed to take me, like, 15 minutes to figure out. The fuck is that? What was that noise? Oh, okay. I, I was getting concerned there for a don't second. No, if anybody reads this, or if there is anyone still alive out there, I I've lost everybody who was on my search party. I am alone and afraid. Even from the out-of-place echoes of my own footsteps that are reverberating along these halls of ages long silence. It is hard to tell if I am alive anymore. Those visions, sounds, the, the devilish scenes described in the release I come across every uh, now and then. We were not meant to be here. Dr. Faust! Dr. Faust, are you there? <laughs> Answer me, please! Took you that long to figure out that it was Dr. Faust? Why didn't you say anything like 10 seconds ago? Probably thinks he's speaking into the void. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jesus Christ! What is with this? What the hell? What? So it's like the lizard creatures, but they have something on their- f It looks like a face hugger, straight up. Like, almost. It's not quite that, but it looks very similar. It's a lot bigger than a face hugger. Still same basic thing. It would appear. Wait, wasn't there a body here? Was I just imagining that? Gimme. Uh, an ornate sacrificial dagger, uh, wholly intact and still amazingly sharp. Even after all these years of desolation, the elaborate carvings on the cu uh, curious metallic surface signifying a reptilian nature. You don't say. Reptilian? I never would have guessed. <gasps> oh, God. Hiccups. Uh, hiccups at midnight. Ah, uh, the greatest. It's when I'm playing this. Gotta get in the mood, of course. Oh, oh, what? God, more of you. Enough is enough. 
Hold on. I'm gonna get this out. I'm gonna fight you. Cause that'll totally work. I'm not liking this. Hate I don't like this imagery. Alright. I am proceeding with caution. Safest shores for What's the intro things that cannot be undone. Hey buddy, has your face gotten any better? That's much darker now. Practically can't see it. Whoa. Hey, got, uh, behind you, sir. Was that Dr. Faust? Who the hell was that? Was, was that a sheer delusion? Gimme. Uh, uh, wait. God damn it. Which one is the flashlight? Wait, what the hell? Do I not have my flashlight? I don't. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'll try to read this anyway. Um, here, hold on a sec. Can I get into some better light? Whatever. Anyway. Um, entry 1, 1944. Having heightened my knowledge of the arcane arts... I find myself contemplating the subject of universals, I think is what it says. Sorry, once again, not sitting at my desk right now. <laughs> uh, whether definitions exist in the nature of things or... You know what? Screw this. I can hardly read it. So I'm going to wait till I get my flashlight back and we'll read it then. Because at the moment, this is just silly. Hi. Hi need to be cautious not to let anyone else see this grand collection it could be extremely dangerous for both of us I won't tell if you won't did I just find something no right journal I keep forgetting that that I like jot down the notes oh what's that yay alright cool now we can read all right, entry one, uh, September 14th, 1944. Having heightened my knowledge of the arcane arts, I find myself contemplating the subject of universals, whether definitions exist in the nature of things or in mere con uh, conceptions, illusory and perhaps a sheer product of human language. Our means of receiving impressions are absurdly few and our notions of surrounding objects infinitely narrow. We see things only as we are constructed to see them and can gain no idea of their absolute nature. So what lies beyond the woven limits of the flesh we've been trapped in, and is it really possible to pass beyond it at least once? What do we know of the world and the universe around us? For the last 10 years of my uh, rough life, I've lived the, or sorry, I've lived with the undulating echoes of those scorching questions that have rendered me a ghost amongst the, uh, amongst the flocks. But yesterday night, I final, uh, sorry, I finally got some answers. Uh, during the last session, Frank and I managed to get the printer to work, even though the results are uh, blurry. We have the first empirical proof of what we saw out there. Ooh, that's intriguing. So yeah, that's actually uh, that's an interesting um, notion, like the idea that you can't really comprehend something that's outside of um, what we d would describe as conventional. Uh, like, I think of, um, Stephen King's It, if anybody's seen that, uh, there's a point, or, like, I don't know if they ever mentioned in the actual movie, but I remember reading on, like, the wiki page or something like that, that they mentioned how, um, uh, spoilers for It real quick, um, the 1989 version or whatever it was, uh, 
at the very end, there's like two sections to it, and the second half of it, where the characters are all adults, um, Pennywise the clown turns into like this giant spider, uh, which is kind of anticlimactic uh, until like you sort of um, put the pieces together that he's not actually a giant spider. That's just the closest that human, the human mind can come to uh, recognizing what he truly is. That's that's the reference point for. Uh, what he his true form is so in order for our brains to cope we just create that um, concept as as what he is even if it isn't actually the case it's uh, the best reference point the human mind has and so that's just like a, an in interesting notion I, I feel nice deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us as well as the oh oops <laughs> uh yeah whatever that was an accident but oops a stuffed subadult nile crocodile one of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth A stuffed crocodile. You don't see that very often. This a looks like it's heavy. Mask from Northwest Africa. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. Hmm. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Yeah, it's a medicinal bag. Had some plans going forward? Ooh, I don't know if I want to go down there just yet. Can't go that direction. Probably can't go this direction either. Oh, maybe. Well, damn. There's a few options here. I don't know which one to go for. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but... This one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanalbi. Nobody knows exactly what it means. But from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. I had it brought by an old captain friend who often visits that island for trading purposes. I'm not going to bother picking up every one of these, though. That's right. But yeah, I'm not going to bother picking up every single one of these artifacts, just because I think we'll be here all day in that case. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting to learn what we have. I feel. Uh, old friend, what you've told me about the shared nature of the experience the Canarium provides made me think about the necro uh, necromantic... Um, means of data inquiry. I am sure you'll remember what I told you about my certain corpses never de uh, about why certain corpses never de uh, decay, but rest firm and fat in their tombs for a thousand years. I believe, with some help for uh, from a certain acquaintance, I can provide you with such specimens. This would be beneficial for both of us, I believe. Can I get these other ones down here? No. Yep, can't get it. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Gimme. Figurine of an emperor penguin, a creature native to Antarctica. I'm not picking that up. So yeah, we, we've already looked over this stuff before. So there's also this room. I figure that downstairs is uh like finality, so saving that for last might be a bad decision, but that's what I'm going for. Oh, another note. Uh, dear E.W. Ross, how can we comprehend exactly how much time has passed since the erection of the earliest ziggurats of Samaria? What can we know about the time worm Time-worn? Time-worn Sphinx, sorry. Still standing on the Giza Plateau. 
They only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit our instantaneous vibrations in the vast cosmos are but an illusion. Today I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as such edifices. That's something, I presume, you uh, will have had a hard time believing. Uh, I have finally acquired some information regarding the fabled cities of Rub Rub al Kali, uh, sorry, uh, which are said to have been built in an undreamt age of certain uh, wonders and rumored to have been intentionally submerged beneath the eternally shifting sands thousands of years ago. Uh, there is even more to the story. According to a reliable source, there should be depictions or information about the locations of ancient canariums. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, ancient canariums buried within those halls. Uh, within a few weeks, you'll receive a book containing the locations of those cities and a map predating all maps known today, directly copy copied from the uh, Antediluvian, I think? Originals. That I, Maybe I butchered that. I'm sure you are excited beyond imagination and eager to discuss these findings in detail, but that will have to wait a while since I'll uh, be away for some time visiting the oriental wonders of the world. I am sure you know what I mean. Haha. <laughs> hey, hey, gimme. Okay. So, I think that's a puzzle that I need to solve. Ah, blueprints for that little, uh, that little item that I had. <clears throat> oh, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, oh, hmm. found something. That sounded like the floor is hollow back there. I bet you there is a crowbar of some sort, or maybe there's an item to be able to. Oh. Well, hold on a second. Looks like something's missing here. Okay, I bet I need to find an item in the basement that will solve this puzzle, which will provide me something to be able to pry that board open. That is my prediction. Oh, what's this? Uh, enter two. September 15th, 1944, as told in some banned ancient volumes I was able to acquire, it is evident that Canarium, uh, when properly adapted to work with the human psyche and physiology, can transcend the mind beyond limits of time and space into a peculiar uh, place we are yet to explore. If not for our own experiences corresponding exactly with the depictions provided in Necronomicon and some other books of forgotten lore, I would easily declare myself a madman. Conclusively, I have solid evidence printed out for me to justify the object uh, objectivity of my position. That dimension is completely devoid of light other than some small glowing and morphing geometrical shapes appearing and disappearing momentarily around us. It also feels extremely cold, but I do believe that there is... Uh, there are, these are just null sensations that our physical bodies attain from what is otherwise impossible to acquire without the Canarium. It is not for us to see this fantastic void with a pair of uh, corporeal eyes, and possibly we are the first explorers ever to reach this ancient forbidden place. But the questions now weighing heavy on my mind... Or sorry, the question weighing heavy uh, on my mind is whether we could ever fully understand the experience with the hindrance of our own limited sensations. So, that's sort of the symbolism of this entire event is like the third eye, right? It's it's not just, you know, a pituitary, or excuse me, I meant the uh, pineal gland. Um, it's not like it's supposed to be that literal. The idea is that it gives you a, a new sense, a new way to look into the world or look into the universe um, that you couldn't see before. That's what the Canarium provides. It allows people to see things that they, uh, that their, you know, mind would previously limit them to. <gasps> oh, God. Um, and that's kind of a terrifying notion that, like, they're really sort of playing with things they probably shouldn't be. Um, they're going to start seeing things they don't want to see. Is the you know they're gonna see through the looking glass and uh, they're not they're not gonna like what they find you know obviously they haven't enjoyed what they found just based off of the fact that most of the people seem to be dead and I don't think most people like finding death 
September 22nd, lying outside the known space-time continuum, this is a dimension to which the gate is knowledge and the key is the canarium, just as I stated. Um, as we start to shed our fleshly bindings, we start to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking on any subject matter, uh, windows to related time and space open up before our non-material selves, our minds. And what's better, we've grasped that the experiences in the sessions are shared and even improved by all the attendees' uh, personal knowledge. Even thinking about the possibilities that may bestow upon us in our quest for transcending the limits of our mortal bodies is about to make me crazy. But sometimes I wonder what has been keeping our sanity intact inside of this forbidden place. Behind the thick walls of pitch darkness surrounding us, there is something looming, whispering in my ears in a language familiar, yet I cannot discern its content. Ah, this is creepy. I don't like it. Oh, what do you know? Looks like something's missing here. Uh, I guess a key? Symbol, please fuck off. Alright, I can't see it. I, I assume I need a key. So, there's a lot of things I need, and I don't know how to find any of them. Oh, okay. There we are. I think I, I'm going to at least be able to solve one of these issues. Uh, let's go there. Alright, cool. <coughs> okay. So, uh, we've got whatever this is. That is a thing I have now. And a phonograph cylinder. Excellent. So we got two things. Two whole things. When using Cornarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something. Previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session and seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the Cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear with every noise our rundown enclave is causing, isolated from ancient darkness of the night. Yeah, so what I really enjoyed about that uh, note in particular, not note, but you know what I mean, uh, that phonograph cylinder in particular was the notion that, like, it took him repeated visits until the, you know, creature, whatever you want to call it, finally noticed him. Like, he's so insignificant that it literally takes, the like, this guy waving his hands in front of this creature for them to even acknowledge their existence. I think it'll work here. Seems to be the same short, sort of shape. Oh, now I gotta match it up. Oh, God. There we go. Yeah, okay, thought so. Open this up, excuse me, holy shit. It's a forceful door. Ooh. I need a phonograph cylinder. Another one? My god. All right, well, might as well. Yeah, well, 
now we know it will. <laughs> you don't say that unless it's gonna happen. Are we, are we gonna make it? Hmm. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, this is a little unnecessary. <laughs> I feel like we could just kind of, you know, I don't know, have like a black screen. Like just transition to black and then just show us up at the very end there. Would have worked just fine. But, you know, whatever. Do what you want. I am impressed, though. They didn't break the ladder. I really thought that was about to happen. <clears throat> so what's going on down here? We got a vision coming up, it looks like. Maybe it's just a really bad headache. Oh, hello. So this is the Canarium, right? That's like, that's what this is supposed to be. This device, and it's what kind of gives you access to the other dimension. Or, I mean, I don't even know if you would call it a dimension, but... You get what I mean? I need a phonograph, Selena. Good God. Uh, alright. I think that's for the upstairs thing. Got a phonograph. And a key. Play the phonograph here in a second. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside, through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. Braggard. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. Speak for yourself, friend. Um, so, like, the way it sounds that the Canariums work is there's, like, a ton of them in many different locations, all throughout the universe, it seems. Not just on Earth, but, like, everywhere. And if anybody's played Mass Effect, like, you know how the mass relays, they, they teleport you from one location to the next? I guess it kind of works like that in that, it, with the exception that it doesn't technically teleport you there, it just shows you the place? I guess? Is, is that kind of like the idea, is that there are just different portals to everywhere on the, in the universe through these canariums? And you can see, the, uh, see, like, the new places and different locations and whatever the inhabitants of those locations might be. So it sounds like to me. All right, what's going on here? I remember this place and what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy and dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Alright. 